<laughs> All right, I am here with Tommy Peach, one of the stars of Sci-Fi's Face Off. Um, Tommy, uh, let us know a little bit about like what got you started with wanting to get into this kind oh, of thing. Oh gosh, it's uh. It's actually a really funny story how I got started in this whole thing. It, it actually, it's uh, I can give full credit to Craigslist. Uh, I'm an illustrator by trade. I wanted to be a comic book artist ever since I was a little kid. I love illustration. I've always I know how to work a pen. I know how to work ink, and um, couldn't find any jobs back in the Midwest. You know, I'm from Ohio, so I was looking on Craigslist over the winter where the sun's like kryptonite and nobody's out. You know, I'm just trying to find some work, and there's a post for a special effects artist wanted. I was like, well, I was a theater guy. I did a little bit of stage makeup, so I lied to this guy. I told him, I was like, yeah, dude, I know how to do all this stuff. You know, send me some ideas of what you're looking for, and, uh, you know, I'll send you some test pictures, right? Um, so he's just as naive as I am. Sends me 200 bucks over PayPal. I spend half it on how-to books, the other half on supplies, and, you know, three months later, I get a tax return, and, you know, I'm loving makeup at this point. You know, I just, I, I, I do these cool effects with this dude. And uh, I get a tax return, and I was like, you know what? I'm young and dumb enough to blow it on something silly one more time. So I dropped, uh, I dropped uh, what, six, seven hundred bucks on a full, like, uh, professional foam latex kit. Yeah. Started sculpting, molding, and from there it's over, you know? I, and now I'm here. I don't know. I don't know how it happened. It's been three and a half years now. How did you get involved with the, the sci-fi project? Well, um, you know, I was a huge fan of the first season. I had just started doing prosthetics uh, that year when the first uh, season aired. Um, and like I said, that was back three, three and a half years ago. Um, I've been doing prosthetics for maybe nine months. So I auditioned on a lark, you know, I was like, I want to see how good I am, you know. Um, yeah. I did the fan contest, so I just auditioned, and I got to go to the finals, like, final auditions, and, you know, it's like the top 40, and I thought that was it. You know, I was like, there's no way I'm getting past this for season two. Um, but I got to go out there, they loved me, a couple more things happened, they ended up using me for season three instead, and... Um, yeah, you know, as soon as I finished season three, I hopped in my car and drove out to L.A., and now that's where I live, you know. Awesome. Uh, are, do you have any projects that are coming up that, uh, that have been announced yet or anything um, like that? There's some things I'm talking about with some indie producers, some, some really fun projects, I think. Um, there's one called Project Fear, which is set in Yosemite National Park. It's about a kid doing his senior thesis based on the, uh, the emotion of fear. So he starts trying to scare his friends and trying to get natural reactions out of him. And it turns, it starts to spiral and get out of control. Uh, the filmmakers are extremely talented in it, and I'm, I'm really excited to work with them. Um, they have, we both have the same kind of vision, you know, that whole uh, 28 days later, 127 hours uh, style of filming, you know, back to actually making film and art. So I'm pretty excited about that. And I might be directing, um, well, I will be directing my first feature film uh, by the end of the year. We start rolling on Out of the Kit. It's a werewolf movie about a special effects artist who is a werewolf, so. Okay, um, and as far as uh, where people might be able to find your work and stuff like that, do you have any websites or anything that you can tell us about? <laughs> Every time I have someone try to build me a website, they either bail, screw it up, or uh, you know, the money isn't coming through. So, uh, you know, as of right now, I'm kind of flying by night. It's been a very crazy year. I haven't even had time to update my portfolio, so. Okay. Well, um, you know, Facebook's probably the best way to go. Do you have like a fan page on Facebook yeah, where there's yeah, a lot of stuff yeah, posted? Yeah. Uh, um, do you know what the URL is for that? Yeah, it's uh, you know facebook.com slash elephantum effects, um, spelled elephant, O M F X. It's like I think the scariest thing in the world would be like a ghost elephant trampling toward you. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah. Well, great. I really appreciate your time. Yeah. Thank you again. No problem.